welcome back again and as I promised um, in this kind of lockdown review of uh, some of my great models greatest models I suppose um, uh, I promised you something a little bit bigger than the HDML which we saw last time well here it is um, this is S309 which is a, a model of a steam gunboat which was built in 1941 uh, by Samuel White's in the Isle of Wight in the UK. Now this is a, again a 124th scale uh, boat and she comes in at about um, 1.8 metres long, that's about 6 foot uh, and she's pretty weighty. Um, the real boat was some uh, 145 feet uh, at uh, around about 175 tonnes and uh, the steam uh, turbine which was specially developed for this boat uh, developed uh, around about 8,000 horsepower. Now it was a, a beautifully designed uh, steel hull for this boat and very you know very well armoured uh, with um, a lot of machine guns, um, uh, torpedo tubes as you can see here, um, um, a three inch um, deck gunner at, at the stern here and a pom-pom gun at the front. Um, and initially she had a speed of some uh, 40 knots uh, but uh, after the loss of one of the boats uh, uh, 307 she was uh, um, refitted and uh, the arm was increased around the steam uh, pipes which were quite exposed um, and that reduced her speed to around about 30 to 35 knots now initially there were nine of these planned um, to be built uh, but two didn't get off the ground for some reason oh well that's because the uh, shipyards were bombed um, so only seven were built um, although there were some plans for the, uh, over 60 or up to 60 to be built but that, that never happened um, but they operated um, as a flotilla um, out of New Haven um, on the south coast of England mainly at night now this particular boat um, is pretty famous um, because it was commanded by uh, Peter Scott who later became Sir Peter Scott you know after his exploits as a naturalist um, and he was the only child of uh, Robert Scott um, the great Antarctic explorer um, he designed the special camouflage for this boat and we'll show you that in a little bit more detail in a minute which was unique to these types of boats uh, breaking up its uh, sort of silhouette on the water um, and uh, he also named his flotilla after some uh, animals of the natural world uh, which he was uh, very passionate about and um, they all were named Grey of some description and we had uh, 303 which was Grey Seal, 4 was Grey Fox uh, five was grey owl, six grey shark, grey wolf, and of course this is grey goose. Now his exploits are sort of legendary, uh, as he was quite a fantastic commander of the Attila. And if you want to know any more about that, then uh, you need to read his book, which is called Battle of the Narrow Seas, which is really quite good. Now the goose itself. Uh, was then used by Vospers at the end of the war to develop the gas turbine engine um, which went into quite a lot of um, warships um, and then later on after that the hull was then converted into a houseboat and uh, it can now be seen um, on the River Midway in the UK at Who. So there you go. Um, so it's not been sunk and, uh, and one thing to add is not one of the boats that remained uh, got sunk during the war due to the fact is they were pretty fast and um, very well armoured. So the next thing is to do is to show you exactly um, what this boat in what this boat has and what I've done to it to to, um, to build it. Now <clears throat> it's a it's a fleet scale hull, um, a fleet scale hull from, from the UK. It's made out of fiberglass hull, very well detailed. And then the rest of it is um, um, scrapped built with some added um, fitted guns um, um, out of um, plastic plastic card um, um, and it has quite a lot of um, extras so to speak on the boat which makes it really interesting and um, what I'll do in a minute is I'll just show you exactly 
what what that entails or what we've got here um, but we have um, some turning uh, guns the front and the uh, and the stern gun turns um, it has obviously lighting on it uh, has a sound system on it uh, showing you the sound of the uh, steam turbine um, it has steam um, and um, what else? Oh, a Morse light here, which uh, plays out a Morse code, which is uh, not just any old world calls, but a proper Morse code, which is uh, "We will never surrender." Some of the famous Churchill words. And um, also, uh, uniquely, it has firing torpedoes. Now, if you go onto my site, you'll see uh, a nice little film of these of these torpedoes. Um, Firing, and I'll just show you what what they are. There we go. And here we have these little torpedoes. It's got a little motor inside, which has got a, um, um, a little reed switch on it, which is operated by a magnet. Um, they are then uh, pushed into the tubes into here, um, like that. And uniquely, uh, they're fired out by a CO2 gas cylinder. Uh, which I can prime and then I release that via a, a couple of solenoid valves and that fires the torpedoes out a bit like the real thing really uh, but if you say if you go on to my site you'll see there's a little video of that and uh, uh, that's pretty good as well and that uh, was something my son was really interested to do and he gave me the task of uh, putting it all together now this took me whew, I don't know some two years or more to build uh, such as the sort of complexity of it and the wiring and everything else is 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 absolutely I don't know it's just incredible um, but as I say what I did when I built it I made certain all the decks were sealed so that when she's uh, in full full raid she's um, any water that's poured up onto the deck uh, doesn't get washed into the um, into the electrics so she's pretty much sealed it's been fully weathered and it continues to weather over the years um, and um, it's one of my favourite favourite models, and it looks absolutely fantastic when it's when it's on the water. So what I do is I'll turn it on, uh, and we can see uh, see what it looks like um, when all the, the bits and pieces are, are going. Right, okay, here we are. Uh, I'll with the transmitter now. This is a 2.4 uh, gigahertz transmitter, um, and uh, it's got. Uh, quite a lot of channels on it because obviously it needs it uh, it's got uh, S bus connection which give me I don't know, up to 16 channels or maybe more uh, but I think I'm using either 11 or 12 channels on here so we're um, turn on the transmitter Welcome and we're showing the see what and uh, right here we go so we turn it on we've got a little uh, hatchway here with the, with the switch on And there we go. Um, so initially, she's got the sound of the uh, steam turbine engine, and it comes on when we uh, when we do the forward uh, propellers. And you can hear that pretty loud. But of course, when it's a little way off the uh, off the peak, so to speak, um, when it's out on the water, you need that loud to be loud enough for you to hear. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll uh, reverse it and uh, turn that down, and that's it. Now she also has some decent sounds on it. Uh, it's got some machine gun fire. How cool is that? Or even the standard whoop whoop, but you have to uh, blip the controller. So we've got three inch deck gun. Now we've got the... Uh, We've got the guns on the front here, not sure whether you can see that or not, just down there, that's on there. Uh, and we've also got the, um, we've got the one at the, on the stern. That's the three inch deck gun now. And uh, also we've got some, we've got some, we've got the steam coming out there, that's a water vapor unit. See that? That's that's pretty cool. And also, we we'll see what we got the. There we go. There's the Morse lamp. And we can also. We can also turn that. I think. Uh, oh yes, we can. We could got a little bit of movement on that. We can turn that, and as I say, that uh, comes out. You never surrender. Turn that off. Now also um, we've got uh, 
inside there you got the guys in there with the with the charts more guys in there and that all lights up i think um we'll put the lights on in the cabin there and uh, there are also uh, full lamps uh lights uh, in the hull as you can see that and little splits and cuts that happened in the deck over time i kind of enhanced those um and um sort of incorporated them into the uh into the weathering of the boat um beautiful hull i'm gonna put that put that back on and you can see that little cabin there and that should actually light up with the um with the navigation lights that's right and navigation gun actually might come on there but as i say um over time it's sort of uh it's got better with the with the weathering and we'll just take you around the around the stern so you can have a look at uh there she is twin uh twin props and twin rudders does turn very well um and of course there we have the the torpedoes in there so what i'm going to do now is uh take off the top so you can have a quick look inside okay uh got the uh got the lid off so to speak so you can see can't see very much in there um unfortunately there's one battery now they normally have two um there's the steam unit here which generates the steam just from plain water now there's a lot of electronics in here and what i've had to do is i've actually the motors are tucked in uh underneath the deck there which are there are two um, brushless motors in here uh, which give it some awesome awesome power and um, they're on trays so um, you can pull these trays out and um, um, so you can get to the electronics you know if you need to sort of later on now be underneath the uh, rear deck gun is all the um, all the paraphernalia that I put in which took me a long time to put in uh, and we have um, this um, gas cylinder here which is a standard gas bottle cylinder which you'll be familiar with and I prime that um, uh, section of tubes um, uh, via this pressure gauge here and I obviously don't want to put too much pressure on because it'll just blow the, all the tubes out and they're held back in here by a couple of um, solenoid valves and then I release those solenoid valves on the main transmitter and it fires out the uh, torpedoes works absolutely well fantastic uh, the only thing is it's just so complicated inside but when it works well it works it works fantastic so there you have that right um that's uh showing you mostly what uh what uh, what goes on on this boat uh, as i said before it's, it's a big boat and if you're going to think about building something like this it's going to take you uh quite a while uh you have to do quite a lot of research um, to get everything just about right, I mean, um, to get all the um, um, superstructure absolutely perfect and everything else, you have to look at all the plans and the drawings, uh, but it's you know, quite enjoyable, and at the end of the time, you get a fantastic boat like this, and I really enjoy uh, taking this to the shows and showing people um, uh, how she operates, and the most important thing is this is not just a static model, this is a working model, and on the water, it's um, it is absolutely fantastic um, and as I say there's a nice little video a nice little film of it uh, on my site showing you the torpedoes and um, and um, and are in full flight um, so uh, um there you go. so there you go that's uh, that's the uh, HMS Grey Goose, uh, 120 full scale, uh, one of my biggest models, uh, surface models. Uh, but as you know, uh, my main interest is submarines. So I think in the next uh, one, in this uh, sort of lockdown look at, uh, at my models, um, which may be keeping you entertained, I don't know, um, we're going to have a look at uh, some of the uh, submarines I've got, some of the really big submarines I've got and uh, i'm just going to go show you uh what we've got on offer right here we have uh, some of my subs um 
that we're going to discuss later on there you can see there there's a type 7 there with the front missing obviously uh, that joins on uh, that's a, a really rusty sub uh, which is unique there's the type 2 there which you've uh, already uh, seen a, a build blog of uh, we got a beautiful uh, type 21 here and the uh, the neck and class um, on the top shelf there so there's something really interesting uh, to look at um, later on okay then so uh look forward to seeing you uh and the next one see what we can uh, surprise you with next cheers see you later